Hello, this is Gary Crowley with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com and this is the dog hip pain relief video where I show you how to uh, release the tight tissue around your dog's hips so if they're in pain there you can give them some relief and um, you know if they just injured themselves running around um, then you can probably give them some permanent relief if they're an older dog like a German Shepherd or something with hip dysplasia um, you're not going to fix the hip dysplasia per se, but you can give your dog some relief for hopefully a day or two and then go back and, and work on them and, and hopefully keep them a little more comfortable uh, in their old age. So this is Daisy. She's a, uh, she's a standard rat terrier, big 28-pound uh, ratter. And um, again, it's nice if you have a wonderful golden retriever or a lab that'll just lay there and love you while you work on them. Um, but a lot of us have, have a little feistier dogs, and Daisy just turned 11, so, um, so she just turned around. So I want to show you here, when your dog's hips hurt, basically probably from about the lower third of their spine down, uh, you want to make sure that this tissue all along the spine and all along her haunches here um, is nice and free so that that hip joint has enough room to function. When the tissue gets tight, it compresses that joint and then your dog experiences pain. So what you want to do is we're going to do that press pull release technique that I show you in the introductory video. If, if you haven't watched the introductory video for just uh, dog joint pain relief, uh, you might scoot over there because I just show you how we're going to work with the tissue. Um, you're going to feel around for some tender tissue and again the big secret in these bodies of mammals is that healthy tissue does not hurt when you press on it. So now Daisy actually kind of likes this, that's a little tight, and if you work on it somewhat gently, sometimes they'll get up and move and things, um, you can you can actually, um, come here Daisy, come here, come here, oh good girl, let me pick you, oh I know, sit, 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 so she gets a little grumpy sometimes, and you gotta know your dog obviously, she, she's uh, That feels good. I know it feels good. You're just being grumpy because I moved you. So she doesn't like when you move her. Okay. Okay. It's no big deal. Relax. It's no big deal. Let me just pet you. Come here, sit. There you go. So around these haunches here, is often tight in a dog with with hip dysplasia. Now Daisy doesn't really have any physical problems. <laughs> she has some attitude problems, but um, I know it feels good. Um, but so you can do two hands on each side. Here's her little tailbone. So you get on each side of her tailbone. You get up above her tailbone here, and any of this stuff that's tight, you press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release, and it actually you can tell she likes it. She's just grumpy sometimes. Um, come here. Um, relax, grumpy. Um, and I'm just doing this with my hand. Right, get here. Oh, I know. It's a big, horrible deal. Um, but you get in here, and you'll feel if your dog has hip dysplasia. Um, these are really, really tight. You can come along the spine a little bit with both your thumbs. And again, you only want to work as deeply as they can relax into. Um, especially if they're injured um, or they have pain. If you get a good spot, you can sit. You can sit, honey. It's okay. Um, a lot of times you'll see their eyes kind of glaze over when you get a really good spot. And so, you you know, you're obviously working it, and it's not feel good like a pet on the head feel good, but it's that, you know, hurts in a good way kind of hurt. And, you know, again, you know, you know, if you press too hard, they might yelp, and sometimes they get up and walk around, and... If you're doing it right, a lot of times they'll walk around, but they'll, they'll come right back to you. And it doesn't have to be, um, you know, a half hour straight of this. You can do two or three minutes, as much as they can take. Every dog has a little different tolerance. And now, of course, she likes it, even though she's a little grumpy earlier. Um, and you get down here in their haunches, and you release all those. I know, I know. She chases a lot of crows and bunnies and lizards and other things but um, 
So all this will be tight in, in, in your dog if, you, if your dog has hip problems. Oh, stop being so grumpy. And again, you got to know your dog. She's just putting up boundaries. It may be, you know, for you non-terrier owners, it may be <laughs> interesting. And then, now you're going to get grumpy here for a sec, but just relax. So if you get her on her side, um, now ideally you kind of catch them when they're laying in the sun or whatever and it's not such a big deal. But you also want to check in here in their groin a little bit because if this is tight now, Daisy here it's not tight because she doesn't have hip issues, but all these inner thigh muscles, just like in you, they'll be a little tight. And you want to be probably a little extra, a little more gentle in here because there's a lot of nerves that run through here in, in dogs and people. Um, so you're going to do along the spine, you're going to do all the haunches, you're going to come up around the tailbone, you're going to do the inner thigh here, and again, she's, she's growling a bit because she's very well boundary. How's that? Um, but if you make sure those are free, you do both sides, and then if your dog's hips were bothering them, then they probably feel um, a whole lot better, and you'll be able to feel when it releases, suddenly the tissue will be much more supple and soft. And then, again, if they have really bad hip dysplasia, over the next day or two, that tissue, uh, or if it's really bad, a few hours, the tissue's going to kind of retighten to kind of try to protect the joint. So you just get in there and free it up, and your dog can be, can be a little more out of pain. So, um, so that's the hip pain relief. And again, all you're really doing is, is investigating for, for tight tissue that, that is kind of ropey and doesn't have a lot of give. And if you press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release, like you're working with clay, um, you will be able to help your dog with uh, their hip pain. So um, thank you, Daisy. And uh, I appreciate your time. I hope this video is helpful. And uh, I look forward to hearing how it goes.